The View from Pompey's Head is a novel by American writer Hamilton Basso, first published by Doubleday in 1954. It spent 40 weeks on the New York Times bestseller list. The title refers to the book's setting, the fictional small town of Pompey's Head, South Carolina. The book was reprinted by the Louisiana State University Press in 1998 as part of its Voices of the South series. Both The View from Pompey's Head and its prequel, The Light Infantry Ball, were finalists for the National Book Award for Fiction. The book was reviewed positively in 1954 by the New York Times, Zestful and Non-Escapist Entertainment. The most pleasantly and sensibly romantic novel to come my way in a long time. And by the Saturday Review, his most impressive book to date. A long, mildly ironic, and deliberately discursive work, it weaves two of his favorite subjects, the subtle social distinctions of a small southern city, and the subtle questions of reputation and standing in New York literary and publishing circles. Ines Hollander Lake, in her biography of Basso, wrote comfortably placed on the New York Times bestseller list for 40 weeks, selling more than 75,000 copies, and sold to the movies for $100,000, the view from Pompey's head was the breakthrough that Basso had been waiting for. However, just as one cannot argue that Melville's Taipei was a better book because it sold more copies than Moby Dick, so it is equally impossible to claim that the view from Pompey's head was a masterpiece because it was so popular. James Salas, writing in the Boston Globe, commented, what it did was gather up, like a self-anthology, themes and preoccupations from Basso's earlier work, the return of the native motif so important to at least three previous novels, his ongoing investigation of Old versus New South, his pension for both the novel of character and the novel of ideas. Its tale of a lawyer defending a black man is a direct precursor of almost certainly a model for To Kill a Mockingbird. Basso's novel was sold to 20th Century Fox for $100,000. The 1955 film was written and directed by Philip Dunn. Exterior shots and some interior shots of the video adaption were filmed in Savannah, Georgia as well as Brunswick, Georgia. The story begins when Manhattan attorney Anson Page returns to his southern roots after 15 years, arriving in Pompey's Head, South Carolina, to investigate the mystery surrounding missing royalties due famous author Garvin Wales. In the small southern town, Page sees the same problems of racial and class prejudices that had once prompted him to leave. Pompey's Head. However, he also encounters his former flame, Dinah Blackford, who has married businessman Mickey Higgins. While their romance is rekindled, various secrets of the past rise to the surface. Child actors Charles Herbert and Evelyn Rudy were in the cast, along with an appearance by DeForest Kelly. Elmer Bernstein provided the music score. Released November 4, 1955, the film was retitled Secret Interlude in the UK. Marjorie Rimbaud received a Best Supporting Actress Award from the National Board of Review. The film was made for $1.23 million and earned an estimated $1.5 million at the North American box office in 1955. Thanks for watching.